But you can never walk alone. But you can never walk alone. On the way to being free. So we are here at Fallen Leaf Lake. Uh, I called this quick press conference because there is a lot of uh, just fake news out there um, regarding the Fallen Leaf Lake swim series. And I just wanted to like take a couple of questions and answer any questions that you guys have regarding the swim series. Um, before we start, I'll just briefly go over what the swim series is. Uh, it's a small lake here. Uh, a weekly uh, Thursday nights, um, 6 p.m. Uh, there'll be two to three buoys here at the lake. Uh, we'll start off with a thousand meter swim. Uh, as the summer goes on, we build all the way up to 3,000 meters. People can do whatever they want to. Mostly the swim series is just uh, for a group of people to get together, swim hard, swim for fun, swim slow if they want to, uh, and just basically be together uh, to serve as a little bit of um, a safety net for each other as we swim some of the open water stuff. And, and swimming open water is, is just really fun. So this is a great place to swim. Water's good. Temperature's usually decent in the summertime. I would suggest a wetsuit, uh, but by the end of the summer or even the middle of the summer, the water's warm enough that you don't even need a wetsuit. So um, with that being said, uh, I'll go ahead and start taking questions. Uh, the lady up front, yes. Yes, okay, so, right, yep. So the question was um, Dead Lake. So, right, this lake actually was called Dead Lake, uh, and we could call it the Dead Lake Swim Series, um, which I'm okay with doing if that's what you guys wanna do. Uh, about three or four years ago, the lake got an upgrade, uh, a name upgrade. They went with Fallen Leaf Lake. That's nice also. Um, you know, so really, uh, that's still up for debate on what you guys want to call this. Gentlemen in the back. Okay, yes, now that's, this is my point with the, this fake news stuff. Uh, the question was, um, you know, how safe is it? Uh, he's referring to shark attacks. Um, right, so this freshwater lake, um, you know, I don't think shark attacks are gonna be an issue. Um, today's Friday. We haven't actually had a shark attack in, in well over a week here. So I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Um, again, I think if we swim as a group, uh, that we'll have some additional safety just being a large group of people looking out for each other, okay? Um, gentleman right here, yep, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. Okay, so question was like, uh, this park is, you know, people can reserve this park. So what are we gonna do if someone reserves this park and we can't swim here? Uh, I will try to figure that out as soon as possible on a, each Thursday. Uh, but for the most part, you know, we won't be able to swim here if, if the park is reserved. So I may try to um, reserve the park myself um, and just pay for it in my pocket. Um, or maybe we'll take donations or something like that. But uh, we may have some nights where we'll just have to cancel it based on whether or not the park is reserved. Okay. Yep, last question. Um, yes, uh, Loch Ness Monster. Okay, so you're talking about Nessie. Um, yes, so Loch Ness Monster, um, is she friendly? No, I, that's not how I would describe her. Nessie, uh, you know, well, the general rule of thumb with Nessie is uh, if you see her in the water, swim as hard as you can in the opposite direction. Um, and the big rule to follow is do not make eye contact with her. Uh, you know, we, we don't know exactly what she is. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I would say that that's a serious safety concern. Um, we are going to try to have people out here on like stand up paddle boards, some people out here on canoes possibly. Uh, so there'll be some safety precautions, uh, but for the most part, you know, you're taking a risk if you come out here and you swim in the open water. So uh, the swim series starts on June 7th, uh, and then the plan is to do uh, Thursday nights weekly throughout the summer. Um, 
June, July, and August. Uh, and then again, we'll just have to be really kind of on the lookout for when the park is reserved. So thanks guys for coming and uh, let me know if there's anything I can do. I'll make sure to leave um, an email address uh, on the website or um, we'll post something as a Facebook event uh, and you guys can sign up that way or just uh, sign up for a newsletter and we'll try to get as much information to you as possible. Thanks a lot.